What's up, y'all? So in today's video, we are going to be learning about how to create an initial logo that will be the first character of a user's username with a different color background for each user. So this is basically what you would see as a uh, an initial logo for a Gmail account. So how you can see right here, you have an A, an M. That's exactly what we're doing here. We have three names. First one is Bob. Next, the second one is Kevin, and the third one is Esteban Julio Arcado Montoya de Rosa Ramirez, and they each have a different colored background that we specified. Let's get into it. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is creating a React app. So go ahead into your terminal, and you can just do npx create React app, and I'll just call it initial user logo, and let that work its magic. All right, so now the app is installed and I've done npm start. What we're gonna be doing is going into the source folder and opening up app.js. And instead of here, I'm just gonna go ahead and just get rid of all of this stuff because we don't need any of it. And I'm going to convert this to ES6 syntax. I'll do const app is equal to that and that. And inside of here, I am going to create a component called initial logo that we'll, we'll create, we will create the file for this in a second but um, now that we have this component created I'm going to create an object oops, an object inside of the const app that we're going to pass into initial logo so that'll be const uh, call it random user obj and inside of here I'll give it a name and we'll give it a color and I'll just copy this three times and the first one will be Bob no not not that not that <laughs> uh, and we'll give it a color B4 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 I'll give this color green and we'll do this as red and for this name we'll give him Kevin and of course Esteban Julio Ricardo Monteo de la Russo Monsores. There we go. I hope I spelled that right. Cool. So now that we have this made, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be passing this inside of our initial logo component. And that's really simple. All we're going to do is we'll give it a name. Let's call it user obj. And we'll pass in random user obj. And now we will create this component called initial logo. So inside of our source folder, I'll create a new folder called components. And inside of the components file folder, I'll make the file called initial logo.js. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy all this stuff and paste it inside of here. And let's get rid of this and make it into initial logo. Same thing here. I'll get rid of this. Now we do also need to receive the prop uh, that we passed. So I'll call it right here. And I'll get rid of this bad boy. Get rid of this, get rid of that. Save it and save that. And now, right, we also have to import it. So let's do that. There we go. Oh no, I misspelled Esteban who recorded them Montoya de Rosa Ramirez. There we go. So just to make sure that we are actually getting this random user object inside of this uh, component, what I'm going to do, not inside of there, I'm going to just do console.log. Uh, yeah, we'll just do that. If you want to know what that little, this little gray thingy is right here, uh, this is called GitHub Copilot. And uh, it's a really cool extension. I would highly recommend that you guys get it. Cool. Let's just test out if it's in there. So I'll go into inspect. And we have a user object with three items. Perfect. All right. So now we have all the hard part done. We have the data. We pass the prop. That's it. Now we have to worry about the CSS part of this. So what we're going to do is get rid of this class name. I'm just going to have an empty div. And instead of there, I'm going to do curly braces. And I'll do user obj dot user obj dot map. So we're going to be mapping over the array of objects. And I'll give it let's call it user data and index for the key 
and I'll open it up. I'll give it a return with curly braces. And inside of here, I'll just make a div slash div. And inside of there, I'll make a p tag. And inside of the p tag, I'll put in curly braces and I'll give it user data dot name dot char at zero. So let's just test it out. Okay, so it's saying user data dot name, oh, chart at. Chart at is not a real thing, it's just char at. So what this is, all it does is just takes a string and gets the very first character out of that string. That's it. So if we go inside of there, we see B, K, and E, which stands for Bob, Kevin, and Esteban who Ricardo Montoya Rosa Ramirez. Now we need to give it the key. So inside of the div, I'll just give it key is equal to index. And inside of there, I'll give it a style. Now you can really do whatever you want with styling, but I'm just gonna center everything and just add a circle around it and just make it look pretty like. So I'll give it a width of 100 pixels and a height of 100 pixels. This is where GitHub Copa is so cool. It's like it just automatically tells you what you can add and saves you a little bit of time. And next I'll do margin auto. I'll give it a display, oops, not, what the hell is that? Display flex, margin top. Uh, let's do 50 pixels. Margin bottom, same thing. Border radius, let's go all the way out, so let's give it 100 pixels, just to give it a little bit of overkill. And I'll put in a background color, just so it's a little bit easier to see as opposed to just the white background. So I'll give it gray instead. Let's see how that looks. Okay, that looks really disgusting. Let me get rid of this console log. So now let's go ahead and just make the actual character look a little bit better. So this is gonna just be a style. And inside of there, I'll give it a margin auto. Font size, I'll do 48 pixels. Color, white, height, give it 93 pixels. By the way, I have this all written down, so I'm not just doing this off my brain. I wish I could, but sometimes I can't even center a div without looking it up. Anyways, so border radius, same thing, 100 pixels. I'll do a line items, not line self, line items, center, uh, justify, justify content center, display flex, and we'll give it a font weight of, let's, actually no, no font weight. All right, let's check this out. Beautiful. That concludes this tutorial. I hope that it helped you guys out. If it did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.